so I'm about to watch Real Housewives. I have been dreading watching it. Because I just feel like it's boring. There's no other way to put it. It's boring. Um, but I'm going to watch it. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully y'all can see me. It's also Friday. So I'm pretty behind. But let's get into it. Let's watch my housewives. Shower on commercial break. And um, Real Housewives is boring as hell. It's taking everything in me not to cut this off and watch some YouTube vlogs. Because this is boring. I just wanted to jump in and say that. <laughs> this is boring, child. Okay. So I am finished watching Housewives. And I just want to, again, reiterate. If we could be real. It was pretty boring. Very boring. Let me scoot y'all back a little bit. Yes, honey, I'm on my, on my living room, on my couch. Um, very boring. We kicked the episode off with just showing the girls. We saw Brooklyn. She's so cute. Sorry, people just in this. <clears throat> but we saw Brooklyn. She is adorable. We saw Blaze. She is adorable. Which leads me to this point. Um, I'm going to sit up so I can breathe, child. <clears throat> but it brings me to this point. I feel like one of the key elements that's missing from the housewife, from Atlanta housewife specifically, is the element of the family. When I watch New Jersey, when I watch even Beverly Hills, we see their families. We see their husbands. We see their children. We see their homes. We see their businesses. With Atlanta, we don't see that. Um, and I think that's one of the major elements that's missing. I, f I don't know if it's the same productions for each franchise, but um, for me, that's what's missing. I like to see, like, I want to see more of Candy, you know, running around with Blaze and Ace and her flying to New York to check on the big girls, the older girls in college. I want to see more of that. I feel like when we watch Atlanta, they're either always out to dinner they're always out to do some sort of activity or they're on a trip or they're having an event. Why aren't they filming these girls at home? Granted, I know they're kind of like socialites and they're busy, but I just feel like I'm over that. I don't want to see that every freaking episode. Like the episodes are turning into, okay, so-and-so is having a dinner. So-and-so is having an event. So-and-so is having a, a, a food tasting at a winery. Okay, now all the good ladies are going on their girl trip. I'm over that. I want to see Candy at home. I know Candy's probably one of the busier ones. But I feel like, sis, if you're that busy and you can't film this show, bye-bye. I want to see more of Kenya with Brooklyn. You know, I know Kiki is going through a child with this mark. I know he is taking her through it. But I want to see. That's what I want to see. Same thing with Drew. I haven't seen Drew's son at all. This whole season. Not once. I think we saw a quick glimpse of her daughter. But she hasn't been home. And then the scenes that she's filming her home life is with freaking Ralph. That's a whole nother thing. We'll get into that. But 
I just wanted to throw that out there. So we jump into that. Uh, and then we jump to Ralph. Drew and Ralph date night, which is bowling. Date night was a disaster for them. They get to arguing about <sighs> counseling. And he don't want to do counseling. And if you do counseling, we're going to get divorced. And she's telling him, well, babe, I'm going to need your support because I'm about to film this movie. So I'm going to need you to hold down the fort. He's talking about he ain't daddy daycare. And ugh, just divorce. I'm happy she's leaving him. I'm happy that it's over because he is basura. Okay, he's trash. He, uh, and then my thing is, what do we really know about Ralph? Is he an actor? I know Marlo was stolen shade an episode or two ago talking about oh i'm in tech like your husband but really what does ralph what what does he do who is he how did they meet how did they get married what is their love story because it's coming off like ralph met her he wanted a little bit of clout they got married i feel like they probably have tried to get on to TV prior to Housewives. And I could be jumping, you know. This is all my speculation, but I feel like they probably tried to get on Housewives. They probably tried to do, um, say yes to the dress. Because it's given, like, we want to be on TV. We want to get visibility. We want to be famous. We're acting. That's what it's given. Like, I can't, I just can't take, take take them seriously like i know they're getting this divorce and all of that hopefully that's real but i just can't take them seriously child so moving on from that where do we go um i can't even remember the episode was so boring um i think we go to what happened to drew's sister allison's mental health event I felt like it was cool, I guess. Oh, I'm skipping. Um, Sonya's pregnant. Woo, 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 woo. Whatever, I don't care. I don't want her on here either. She's boring. Um, <laughs> but we get to Allison. We get to Alice. I thought somebody's knocking at my door. We get to Allison's mental health event. Everybody's just in line. Everybody's showing up. This is supposed to be about mental health. They work out. They do a meta meditating session. I guess it was cool. I mean, it's not, it, it, whatever. Um, I guess the big thing from that was Drew told, not Drew, Ralph totally ignored his wife he acted like she wasn't there he acted like he didn't see her you know he, he's just punishing her he doesn't like her i don't think he ever liked her i think he's disappointed that he married her and it's not panning out how he wanted and he's over her he is over her he don't want drew he's over her he was over her shoot the season that they came on the very first season that they were on. What was that? If this is 15, that was season 13, I believe. He's over her. He don't want her. Um, You know, Kenya, of course, Kenya, she, she has been on point <laughs> with everything that she's been saying. From Kim Zosia to Cousin Courtney to Marlo to Sheree to Drew and Ralph. Kenya been on point. That woman, I love, I love Kenya. But anyway, you know, he, he doesn't like her. He's trying to embarrass her and he did it. He embarrassed her. She looked like a damn fool. Um, so, you know, whatever. I wasn't surprised. It, it didn't shock me at all. And I know I'm probably going all out of order, but I wasn't surprised. Um, they talked about... Um, Miss Cynthia, she looks great. Please bring Cynthia back on the sh on the show. Anyway, Cynthia brings up after they do all the activities at the event. Cynthia brings up Sheree's party. 
or no, was it Cynthia? No, Kenya brought up Sheree's party, and then they showed little snippets of the ladies talking about how Martell didn't pay. Of course, Martell didn't pay. Look at this. This is a man who cheated on his wife for several years, got his mistress pregnant. He doesn't have any moral standards, so I don't even know why people are shocked. The rule is if you invite someone out to dinner or you invite multiple people out to dinner to celebrate your girlfriend, your wife, your child, your mother, your grandmother, your niece, your nephew, whoever. If you invite people out to come celebrate somebody else's birthday party and you're hosting it, baby, you're paying. It's that simple. And if you didn't want to pay for everybody, then you should not have invited everybody. It's really that simple simple and for Sheree and I, I watched the after show and for Sheree to make it seem like oh your your husband shouldn't want another man to pay for him was like girl stop we know that you're cheap we know that you are just cheapskate of the year I mean we still have not gotten no she by Sheree we know how you run okay we know how you do okay so you know doggone well that that man should have paid for your birthday dinner. Because had it been uh, Candy and Todd throwing a birthday dinner for Candy and inviting y'all out. And he started asking for cash apps. You would be dragging him. So let's stop. Let's just stop with the shenanigans. But anyway, we have that going on. And that was the event. The event was just kind of, oh, I don't know. It was just, I wasn't into it. Um... I just wasn't into it. What happens after that, child? I'm really trying to pull things from the air. That's how boring the show was for me. <sighs> then we have... Oh, yeah. Kenya wants to use Mark's... The, the embryos that she used with Mark to have more babies. Uh, don't do it, Kenya. We already know how Mark get down. And I think she did an interview recently where she said she's not going to do it. She's not going to use it. After seeing how he's been acting with this whole war, she's, you know, she's not going to do it. So I'm happy that she is not going to go through with this whole embryo with Mark. I'm happy she's done with that. Um, What else happened, child? Oh. I guess we could just wrap this on up. Oh, Drew, she had her her counseling session with her doctor, Doctor Ken. I guess I don't know if he's a psychiatrist, whatever. I think he's a psychiatrist or psychologist. I don't know, whatever. Her therapist. She's meeting with him, and she's trying to push out tears and talking about how she, you know, is trying to make it work with Ralph, and I'm going to make it work and. I just don't know what to do. Girl, divorce him. It's that simple. You know, it's that simple. I'm just over them. I'm just over them. I'm over Ralph. I'm over Drew. I, I, I just feel like they're acting. I cannot believe that I feel like they are acting. Acting, 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 acting. I cannot take them serious. Just the whole show. Let me just say that the whole show was kind of boring to me. I struggled to watch this. That's why today is Friday. And um, I'm just now watching it. Because it's been so boring. And I really want to get into you, Candy. Because, girl, I can remember you saying... In an interview, oh, child, Real Housewives of Atlanta, this season is going to be good. I was, I was reading everybody. I wasn't taking nothing from nobody. Girl, you weren't giving, you haven't been given anything this season. Yeah, you got into it with, who did she get into it with, Courtney? That's it. But you haven't really been giving us much this season. It, it's time just, just, I don't want to say a reboot. I don't want to say recast the show. I just want to say it just is not good. You know, I don't know if they need to bring Mimi back. I don't know if they need to bring some of the old girls back. I just don't know. What I will say is that it is missing the family aspect of it. It's definitely missing the coin. 
I'm not seeing no money. The only person I'm really seeing giving it to us as far as coin, and it's really, it's just Kenya and Marlo. I, Marlo, she's been looking fabulous all season. I'm not even going to hate. There was one look that I did not like, but for the most part, she's been looking, she's been giving fashion. I love it. I'm not even going to shade her. But she hasn't been really giving much either. I mean, she's been bringing the, the most chaos <laughs> by being messy. But I don't know. I don't know what it would take to revive the show. But it's pretty boring. It is pretty boring. I would like to see... Um, Monietta. Monietta's kind of messy. Um, I wouldn't mind having her be a housewife. I wouldn't mind her. Um, I wouldn't mind them bringing back Cynthia more as a friend. So start adding her a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's just... Ugh, I'm just so sad that Housewives is going down like this. It's not... It's just not giving what is what is supposed to have gave. It's just not, you know. I can't get into it. I just can't. But yeah, that was just episode. I know my review is late, honey. All the professional uh, reviewers, honey, they they get their videos out quick. I am still new to this. That's why I'm recording this on my phone, baby. But, mm -mm. it's not giving. It's not giving. So, we'll see what Sunday will bring. Hopefully, something. I know we're getting towards the end of the season because how many episodes? I think it's been like 15 episodes. I know they're not finna drag this this out. How many? Yeah, it's been 14 episodes. So I know they're not gonna drag this whole divorce thing out. Usually housewives, including the reunions, reunions are usually about two parts. So that would bring us to 16. So I'm thinking we got maybe three more episodes left, potentially. But um yeah, they need to do something. Okay, I'm out of here. Please like and subscribe to my channels. I promise I'm going to get more consistent with my reviews if you like them. Um, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think we need a new cast all the way around? Do you think we need to bring some um, old Atlanta Housewives back? Do we need some new Atlanta Housewives mixed in? Should Yana get a peach? Let me know what you think. All right. Peace.